Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel and today we are going to be celebrating the 4th of July and what better way to celebrate the 4th of July with some hot dogs? That's right, I grew up on hot dogs and I especially love this unique thing called Frankenstuffs. Alright, now this cure, this you probably never heard of this, but it was a hot dog with chili stuffed inside of it. You're making it sound good, but I hope it's actually good. They were awesome, so this kind of inspired me. I was thinking, you know, the Franken stuff, let's see if we can bring that back, but let's take it one step farther. Let's see if we can create our own stuff creations in hot dogs and uh, see how it goes. So today we asked the question, will a hot dog? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a straw. It's called a smoothie straw, and it's a lot bigger in diameter than a regular straw. And we're going to take this and stick it through the hot dog all the way to the other end. And then we're going to pull it out the other end and take out the innards of the hot dog from the inside of the straw. And then we're going to take some canned chili and we're going to put it in this piping bag we have right here. And I've just put this in a cup. It makes it a lot easier to load. And now we're just going to pipe that into the hot dog. All right, so this is the moment of truth. We have cooked up a homemade Franken stuff and I'm ready to cut into it. And Kira, i got to warn you, if I remember like in years past from my childhood, this will be molten hot, like lava hot. That's cool. Oh, this is looking good. Got some chili in there, I can see it. Did the Franken stuff have more chili? Yeah. It's amazing, the hole we made was originally a lot bigger, now it's yeah, like smaller. Yeah, it was like the size, almost the whole dog. Ready? It's the size of a pencil, basically. Ready? Yeah. You ready? Okay. Three, one. Oh, hot. Hot. Oh. 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 And this is why I liked it so much as a kid. The simplicity of it. All you need to do is throw them in the uh, microwave, heat them up, and you're good to go. All right. So what do you think? Will it hot dog? One. Three. Oh, sorry. <laughs> One, two, two three. Heck Double yeah. thumbs, yeah. Do you like hot dogs? I love hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so here, as you can tell by the title, we have an olive hot dog. And exactly what it sounds like, it's a hot dog stuffed with green olives. And I personally don't like olives, but... I love olives, and I love hot dogs. <laughs> so this is like a double winner, at least it should be. By the way, these are not cheap olives too. We bought these at Whole Foods, which means we paid a lot of money because everything at Whole Foods is really expensive. Good there job go. bashing Whole Foods. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Not bad. A little bit on the salty side. <laughs> here, have some of your water. Very, very salty. Yeah, very salty. Kind of tastes like soap. All right, quick story for you. When I used to eat Frankenstuffs, yeah, they had so much sodium in them, and keep in mind, I eat about three of them in a row, that I would actually get a sodium headache. I'm getting one right now. <laughs> no one bite. This. This, I think if you ate one of these, you can get a sodium headache. Like a, like a sodium freeze, like a brain freeze? Brain freeze, yeah. Like, out of sodium. Salt freeze. Well, a hot dog, ready? Yep. One, two, three. No. Oh. All right, so up next, we have a new spin on the traditional corn dog. Instead of uh, battering and deep frying it, we've now got corn in the inside. If you look closely, right here, you can see the corn kind of peeking out at you. I don't know. I think it's going to be good, but I'm not sure. I definitely think it's not going to taste like a normal corn dog, but we'll find out. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Mmm. Mm. You can taste the corn. I'm enjoying this one. Yeah. Now, this is borderline. I might make this again. If I can season the corn up a little bit. The corn tastes like straight up hardcore corn like you can really taste it in there yeah it's kind of like if you had corn on the cob inside the hot dog almost mm -hmm. so maybe if it like buttered it and maybe like salt and peppered it in the inside a little hot dog one two, two three yes yeah. 
Up next is our s'mores hot dog. To make this hot dog, we're gonna load mini marshmallows into the inside of the hot dog, much like you'd load a cannonball into a cannon. Step two, we're gonna roll the hot dog in melted Hershey bar chocolate and make sure it's well covered. And step three, we're gonna crush some graham crackers, making this into a crust, which we're then gonna batter the hot dog in to get a nice, smooth, even coating. Take a bite, ready? Ready? I don't think anything was ever in here. Did we get the right hot dog? You did. All right, so now we're trying to double down. Since the marshmallows disappeared. I'm trying to shove my marshmallows into my hot dog. Why? Because that way it gives the, the, the taste that we intended. Okay, ready? Okay. Three, two, two. one. Not too bad. I mean... It worked. I just really taste hot dog and graham cracker, really. The marshmallows kind of like blend in. I wouldn't make this again, but I wouldn't vomit if someone gave it to me either. So mm -hmm. it's like right in the middle. So will a hot dog? One, two, three? Yes. yes. So this is the aftermath of the Will It Hot Dog Challenge. And I think I see an olive in there. Let's see, what is this? It, this is a chili. Got some corn in there. Corn, another olive. I can't see marshmallows, it was just evaporated. This reminds me of the hot dog eating contest at Coney Island that happens each year, right? And uh, Joey Chestnut, you know who he is? Mm -hmm. Number one champ of the world, that's right, 70 hot dogs last year. My personal prediction is he does 72 hot dogs this year. Carry your prediction? 73. Wow, that's bold. <laughs> you going out there, huh? Just going <laughs> one above your dad. Anyway. We'd like to wish you a happy 4th of July and on behalf of the Cabbage Spinners. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, and what else? Turn on the notification bell so you know when we upload. That's right. We'll see you next episode.